The Tale of the Wicked Witch, The Toad Transformation Curse Once upon a time, in a small village nestled in the heart of a dense forest, there lived a wicked witch. She was feared by all the villagers, who knew that she had the power to cast spells and curses on anyone who crossed her path. One day, the witch became angry with the villagers for not giving her the tribute she demanded. In her rage, she cast a terrible curse on the entire village, turning them all into toads. The villagers were horrified when they realized what had happened to them. They hopped and croaked in confusion, unable to speak or move like they used to. They were no longer human, but tiny green creatures with bulging eyes and slimy skin. They were trapped in their toad bodies, unable to break the curse that had been placed upon them. The witch cackled with glee as she watched the villagers suffer. She had always enjoyed causing pain and misery, and this curse was the ultimate expression of her power. She taunted the toads, telling them that they would never be able to break the curse and return to their human form. But one brave toad refused to give up hope. His name was Timmy, and he was determined to find a way to break the curse and save his fellow villagers. He hopped through the forest, searching for a solution to their problem. After many long days of searching, Timmy finally stumbled upon a wise old owl. The owl listened to Timmy's story and told him that there was only one way to break the curse, they needed to find a magical flower that grew deep in the forest. The flower had the power to break any curse, but it was guarded by a fierce dragon. Timmy was scared, but he knew that he had to be brave for his friends. He hopped through the forest, dodging snakes and spiders, until he finally reached the dragon's lair. The dragon was huge and terrifying, but Timmy didn't give up. He hopped up to the dragon and asked for the magical flower. To his surprise, the dragon agreed to give him the flower, but only if he could answer a riddle. Timmy thought hard and finally came up with the answer. The dragon was impressed and gave him the flower. Timmy hopped back to the village and gave the flower to the witch. She tried to stop him, but he was too quick for her. As soon as she touched the flower, the curse was broken, and the villagers returned to their human form. They were overjoyed and thanked Timmy for his bravery. From that day on, the villagers never forgot the lesson they had learned. They knew that even in the darkest of times, there was always hope. And they knew that they could always count on Timmy, the brave little toad who had saved them all.